Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about love is not what you think it is, okay? So this is coming back to Craving for Love and the other one that I just did before this one. So if you're watching this and all my other autism talks out there, you know what I'm talking about. So today we're going to talk about this. Now, I think people get the wrong message about love and what love is. Like love technically is kind of like you know, man and woman love, but I think people forget that love can be something else. Love can be loving your pets or loving your friend or loving your brothers and sisters, for example, or loving your parents, of course. You know, love doesn't have to exactly mean to be with someone. And I think some people forget that, you know, you can love a friend as a friend, you know, or in this case, you can adore a friend if you adore a friend, but that, that, just, that, that doesn't make any sense. So... Um, you know, so love is Kimmy, so many different things, and I think people forget that love is not only man and woman love, and we see that in movies all the time, and you don't really see the friendships. I mean, sometimes you do in movies or TV shows, but not really. It's more like man and woman love, so I think people get the wrong message of what love is supposed to be. So, like I said, um, love is infinite. Love can be many things. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be with someone just because, you know, you, um, um, to love them. Like, I think I know someone who, <laughs> I, I can't really say too much about this, but I, I like, you know, you can't say to a friend, you know, if you like a friend, okay, here's an example. This is just an example. If you like someone, you can't just say out, out of the bat, I love you. Because, you know, chances are they're not going to like you back. And, you know, you can't just say I love you and then immensely falling in love. That just that, that, that just doesn't work in one time. You know, you've got to, like, go through the steps. You know, you've got to look very like someone. If you do like someone, you can, well, it depends. If someone likes you... And you don't like them back, then that's not gonna work. You can't force someone to fall in love, like I said a million times before on this channel. And also, too, you gotta be on the same page. You know, you gotta be on the same page, like whether or not you want to be boyfriend or girlfriend, or or if you or both like each other in a way. You know, my mum said to me a while ago, if someone likes you, they will tell you. And that is actually true. And I've always sticked by that truth. And if you don't like the Mac, then what's the point, you know? Um, I mean, sure, you could like someone, you know, very much, but they might not feel the same way. So if you say, I love you to someone, it doesn't, it, you don't mean it. You know, you don't exactly, like, mean it. You just say it out of the blue, like, out of the ordinary, you know, and you don't, like, what? What are you saying? <laughs> you know, so I've kind of been in that. Thing before but love like I said is so many different things and I just think people forget that love can be so many different things like you could love a plant you can love a flower you can love a tree well that's not actually a tree that's a plant but you get what I mean so you could love anyone anyone who you know loves you for you or a friend that likes you for you then yes you you can but at the same time, it's like, if you don't like someone, then why would you ever bother falling in love with them if you for, if you forced it to liking that? It just doesn't make any sense, you know? And I don't really like anyone, per se. I, I don't really like anyone. I mean, I'm still waiting for my handsome Prince Charming somewhere in the world. You know, hidden gems out there in the world. Um, you know, but yeah, you've got to be on the same page when it comes to that. And also, to you got to be like... You gotta be both agreeable. Now, if you're not agreeable, then what's the point? I mean, it's kind of silly when you say to someone, "I love you," and you know, you just you, you, it's hard because man, it's hard because it's hard because you you're you're dealing with someone who's very autistic and doesn't understand. So it's very hard. So I have this problem sometimes on my YouTube channel when I get comments. It's like that's not what I meant, but. Then again, you are autistic too. So it's people, your brain doesn't really connect. That's what I'm trying to say. Your brain doesn't really connect. So it's like you're half and half of a blood moon or something. And you just don't really connect in the brain. So when I say this, it's hard because first off, I've never had a boyfriend in my entire life. 
I've never even loved someone. I never actually kissed someone before. Like, I've I've never done that. So, um, you know, it's not. It's not that easy explaining this because if I was with someone, it would be more easier. But because I'm not, it's just me in a room talking by myself to you guys. So that's hard. That's very hard. But I'm doing the best I can. So what was I saying? So yeah, you can't exactly say I love you to someone and then think they're going to fall in love with you. That's just crazy. That's just utterly crazy or insane maybe. But... You know, people, you know, the heart knows what it wants and, you know, you just, you know, you got to respect that person's wishes and no matter what you think, no matter what you do, they're never going to change their mind, like never, um, you know, because they think, because, see, it, 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 this is how it works, okay, if you're a friend with a guy, right, then he falls over heels with you and he likes you and then you're like, I don't like him back, so what do I do in that situation? And you're dealing with someone who's special needs as well, so you can't. It's it's hard. It's very hard. But, you know, if you get a link with each other, meaning like if you agree with something on one another, that you just remain friends and you can be very close friends, not as in girlfriend and boyfriend, but you can, be, you can be close friends with someone even though they're a boy, you know. So there's no law against it. There's just physics, but... You know, you got to come to agreement that both parties are very happy, you know. So, yeah. So, that's all the time, guys. Make sure you like this guy tomorrow. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.